We're Sean and Ash. For the past two years, we've been turning this school bus into our very first home. Last week, we rejoined you guys back on YouTube for an updated tour. Come on in. And to share our progress. <laughs> as we count down just six weeks to our maiden voyage. Wouldn't be a home without comfortable sleeping arrangements and a tiny wood stove. Join us as we begin our journey full-time traveling around the Americas. I can't believe we're doing this. This I know, is so it's cool. cool. <laughs> So this is something pretty exciting. Holy cow! Magic sleeper, you know how to tape a box shut. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, so cool. Let's open these bad boys up. Whoa! What? Wait, this is so cool. Once Sean gets back, I'm gonna try these out in the bus and see what they look like. That was quick. Didn't they just ship it out yesterday? Dirty. I wanna see if it fits. It's really cool how they made it. Let me show you. I feel like we have to clean out the bedroom really quick, so. Look at this. So, as you can see, our bed was made so that we would have room to walk around in the bedroom but also have our full-size bed. So Sean had this super cool idea that we would use Super Strut. Super Strut. As legs for the bed. And then you can see that it flips up two sides at a time, which is like, I don't know, it's like mind blowing. You I can say it, you can say it, genius. It's genius. It's genius. It's genius. I'm a walking genius. Well, I just think it's so cool because you can have half of the bed up, but also still have access to part of the room. Let's hope that this works. Magic sleeper, don't fail me now. Magic sleeper. I see what they did. It looks pretty cool. good so far. It like you zips can take that. Oh wow! So we'll have to cut this piece of foam. I know. Look at the professional work. I mean. Put it right there. Thank you so much, Magic Sleeper. Come look at this. I mean, it's amazing. They did, like, they did such, such a nice job. job. You guys outdid yourselves. Thank you so much, Magic Sleeper. If anybody, can we can we turn the camera here? If you want your bed or any of your couches in your schoolie to have a magical touch, a magical feel, call Magic Sleeper. Okay, good night. Good night. So as we created our layout for our schoolie, one of the biggest issues we had was utilizing this awesome door. It's locked. Oh. It's there tied. You. If you guys remember way back in our build, we used to have a wheelchair lift that was right here and it would fold out and then allow somebody to enter the bus on a wheelchair. We ended up removing that, but we were left with this awesome door. Now, most schoolie designs have the bed permanently set across the whole width of the bus, which is awesome because the standard bus is eight feet wide. However, it wouldn't allow us to have access to opening and closing and getting in and out of the store. The even bigger problem that we came across, once we had the bed figured out, we were like, how do we find a mattress that's ever gonna work for this? We're gonna need something custom made. That's why we're really excited to tell you guys about our first partnership with a company called Magic Sleeper. We contacted Magic Sleeper, who works out of Pennsylvania, said, hey, you guys, we have this schoolie that we created. We'd love if you could do some sort of custom design for us. Magic Sleeper does custom mattress tops for RVs and mobile homes, as well as your regular average beds for home. They can do standard bed sizes, custom bed sizes. They'll create their own covers, cut the foam to size that you need. So we figured they would be the perfect company to call up for this. Lift the lift and lift. And kindly let the legs down. We're gonna put some feet on the bottom of these legs. The secret with these legs, the key, you gotta grab the leg behind first. It makes it nice and easy, comes up. Paper's just here so that the cushions don't get dirty. Ooh, wait, was that my, was my fanny on camera? Get my fanny. So comfortable, super strong. 
and like look what they did for us it's amazing you can see there's two layers of foam this is the original foam that we actually owned ourselves and then this is like an even higher density it's magic foam foam from it's magic foam <laughs> now what i was really impressed with is that they had the perfect width for both pieces of foam how do i look do i look good do i look do I look handsome I'm yeah. all dirty. If you guys need a custom bed made for your schoolie, your RV, your van conversion, give them an email or a call and they will be more than happy to hook you up with any kind of design, customization, dimensions that you need for your tiny home. Magic Sleeper. High quality, family owned, and schoolie friendly. <sighs> Look who it is. Ashley laying on our mattress for the first time ever. Wow, it looks perfect. Sleepover? Sounds we like We are fun. sleeping in the bus? <laughs> this is crazy, I've been wanting to do this. I can't believe we're doing this. I know, this is so it's cool. cool. He might need some popcorn. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, we don't have any. Shoot. We just slept in the bus. Good morning, you guys. We spent our first night in the bus last night. I'll show you where we were parked. It was pretty safe. I felt, I felt good about it. In my driveway. <laughs> Good morning. This was fun, right? Yeah. How'd you sleep? Good, it's like sleeping on a cloud. No, it's actually so comfy. What do you wanna do? You wanna sleep more or? No, I wanna get up and start working on the bus. I'm coming inside, unless you have something funny to say. Um, I'm freezing my nuggets off. Okay, bye. So yesterday we got a lot done. I painted a lot of the bedroom, which we slept in which was really, really comfortable. I honestly thoroughly enjoyed that mattress. Something about this lighting makes my hair look greasy. Quite enjoyable. Like, the bed was so comfortable. Like the mattress was honestly nicer than my current mattress. Today, I think we're gonna get some work done on our wood stove area. We bought these thin bricks. I have to start making cement, I think. You know, I was watching a video last night and for indoor applications, someone said you don't need to use thin set. You can just use construction adhesive. Hmm. Huh. So. To have our little wood stove right here. Kind of like that it's both a part of the living room and a part of the kitchen because I know that a lot of people cook on it. I have to lay these bricks out and then figure out where I need to cut them. Oh, I love it! Cool, right? Wow, babe, check this out. Goes on there nice and easy. I was a little worried about cutting these things, but it turns out it's really freaking easy. Wow, nice. you are like... Like dorky. Right. Say that. Wait, why aren't you gonna wear these? I want you to put those on. It's gonna be loud. Uh. Okay, ready? Oh, and oh, we're just a nova brick in the vault. Boom, bono. Don't on and all we're just another brick in the vault. Boom boom bunna bunna boom bunna doom doom doom. This stuff works great. I push it on there, it's like a um, landscaping adhesive. There's lines on here. See? Line there. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to cut it at an angle 
so it gives you a nice bead or like there's like a curvature to it. It's just easier to apply. I've been cutting these straight across for, you know, two years and I just realized that. This is how it's going on. Nice smooth bead on there. It's heat resistant. Heat is important because it'll obviously be around our fire between the brick um, and then the cement board. We're not really concerned about the heat. Some people have like metal plating behind it. This is real brick. It's just a much smaller version. It's just thinner. My original plan was once we put the grout in to paint it white. Yeah, she wants to paint it. I'm not sold on it yet. But... You're always sold. Oh, glorious days, Sundays. Any reason why that is? No post on Sundays. Right you are, Harry. No post on Sundays. No blasted owls today. Not one stinking ruddy owl. Ashley in her Sunday best, her Easter dress, here enjoying beautiful weather. And I absolutely love the way this looks. Good idea, right? Now comes the part that I have no idea what to do. The grout? The grout. I think this should be good. Although someone's probably laughing. Some of the other colors going on in our bus, I don't love the red rustic brick look. So I saw this cool design. It was actually in Selena Gomez's kitchen because she has a cooking show now. Who would have thought? Like a gray grout and then white brick. In hindsight, had we seen that earlier, we should have just used gray grout. We purchased this stuff off of Amazon and it's grout dye. Main concern with this product is that you have to wipe it off of the tile afterwards so that it only stains the grout. But we're painting over the brick anyway, so I'm not super concerned. Okay, so at Selena Gomez. I've come from a far land. I am the magic wizard. Making sure all schoolie goers and van life livers have comfortable sleeping arrangements. John and Ash, you are next on my journey. Excuse me, young miss. You are quite beautiful. Wow, okay. For you. Wow. How is this magic mattress? Does it fulfill your dreams? It's great. How about a handsome man? Huh? Cut to me on the bed. How about lots of money? <laughs> How about a pretty little rat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. Now I must return to Northern Pennsylvania, where my home is at the Magic Sleeper Warehouse. 